Hello there, so why is your program returning a Java error that says class interface or in unexpected? I know this error is quite common and can be really frustrating. If you are watching this video, chances are that you are writing a Java program, but you can even compile your code at the moment because you are seeing an error that says Java error class interface or in unexpected. So, what does this mean? In this video, I will explain you what this error means and we will see code snippets with a DC soup and how you can fix it. So, without further ado, let's get started. Let's start by explaining what class interface or in unexpected means. It is a compilation error which means that the code is not following the language rules or, in other words, it doesn't comply with the Java syntax. One of the Java rules is that any piece of code should be wrapped by a class definition. So here is an example. We have here the class hello. Then any code you want to write should go inside the curly brackets, which means the code is part of the class hello. Remember, in Java, all functions or any code you write should be inside the class. You can also place your code inside an interface or an enum. And the idea is the same. The code should be inside the curly brackets. So let's go back to our error. And the error is class interface or enum expect. You could encounter this error in many different ways, so depending on the problem, you will fix it differently. Let's see a few code snippets that encounter this error and how you can fix it. Let's say I have the following function. So we have a function that will return the max of two numbers. And as you can see here, we have the error class or interface expected. As we've seen before, the problem here is that the code is not inside the class. So let's wrap it with a class, which I'm gonna call operation. And then an opening curly bracket and another curly bracket to close the class. And the problem is gone now, brilliant. So let's take a look at another example. So we have the following code. And in this case, we have a class named hello, and inside the class, we have a method called main. However, there is a compilation error with the message class or interface expected. So what is the problem here? There is an extra bracket. So in this case, we only need four brackets, two to indicate where the class starts um, where it ends, and then another two to indicate where the main method starts and where it's ending. Therefore, we don't need the last curly bracket. Remember, in Java, you always need to make sure the curly brackets are in pairs. So let's remove the extra curly bracket and the problem is gone now. So we have another example. This example is similar to the previous one. In this case, we have a class and there is a method inside and we have four brackets. So the brackets are in pairs. So what's wrong here? In this case, the problem is the parentheses after the class name. So in Java, to define a class, the syntax is the following. The class keyword then the name of the class and right after the opening and closing brackets. We don't need to use the parentheses here. So let's remove them and the compilation error is fixed now. All right, so we have seen three examples now. So let's look at the last one. We have this code snippet which contains one class called A, and that class has a constructor, and all the curly brackets are correct. And then we have another class, application, 
which has a method name main inside. And still there is a compilation error. So what is the problem here? The problem is the second package declaration. So the word package is indicating that the class is part of the package programming. You can only have one package declaration in a file and it should be the first line. So to fix the, the problem in this case, all we have to do is to remove the second package declaration. And the issue is gone now. Perfect, so we reached the end of this video where you have seen how to fix the error class or interface expected. Remember that most of the time you can fix this problem putting your code inside the class or reviewing the curly brackets. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.